A new break in a case involving a massive invasion of privacy for some big stars, including Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton. Hackers broke into their accounts, stole nude pictures, and then leaked them onto the Internet. Now the FBI's on the job. Whether they catch the bad guys or not, this whole thing exposes how vulnerable our most private information can be. And tonight, ABC's Rebecca Jarvis with the investigation and the simple things you can do to protect yourself. From Jennifer Lawrence to Kate Upton, it is what could be the largest breach of private racy celebrity photos in history. The FBI telling ABC News it is investigating exactly how it happened and who's behind it. More than 100 of Hollywood's leading ladies' accounts allegedly accessed, photos stolen and leaked onto underground message boards all over the internet Sunday night. Now the pictures and the response from Hollywood going viral. Let's have a big hand for our very first volunteer, Katniss Everdeen. A spokesperson for Hunger Games star Jennifer Lawrence calling it a flagrant violation of privacy, telling ABC News the authorities have been contacted and will prosecute anyone who posts the stolen photos of Jennifer Lawrence. Model Kate Upton's attorney also confirming the authenticity of the pictures and promising legal action. While some have denied the pictures are real, like problem singer Ariana Grande, Legal experts say to expect even bigger battles ahead. This case could be an uphill battle for these celebrities. First, you have to find the person, and that's really the toughest battle. Secondly, where did these photos originate? Who took these photos? Who uploaded those photos? That's going to be a big part of where this case actually happens. And if that person is out of this country, will you have jurisdiction over that person? So how does something like this happen? Tonight, Apple revealing it was not a breach in any of their systems, including iCloud, but instead a very targeted attack on certain celebrity accounts, including their usernames, passwords, and security questions. What's your mother's maiden name? What's the name of your first pet? When you're talking about a celebrity, you could probably just get all this information from their Wikipedia page. Forensic hacking investigator Vinny Troya says deep underground networks of hackers are all over the Internet, searching for this type of material around the clock and profiting from the trade and sale of celebrity photos like the ones involved in this breach. It's these underground contests that are going on, uh, you know, in, in places like 4chan and message boards, they almost use it as a mark of honor to find this material. It's a competition and it's sort of a, it's a race to the bottom. Chris Falkenberg is the CEO of Insight Security. His firm is hired to protect VIPs and says it's the kind of thing he deals with regularly. One of his major concerns is that these pictures could be used to blackmail or extort the celebrities. Tell me about some of the situations you have found yourself and your clients in. So the high profile people who we help with their security have a lot of concerns over privacy. We'll try to feed information to the internet which is either innocuous or misleading to help people uh, maintain their privacy by making it more difficult to find personal information to them. Once something is on the internet, it's very hard, if not impossible, to take it off. But one successful strategy may be to try to push it down and make it harder to find. But it's not just the rich and powerful. The breach of privacy is also raising major security concerns for the rest of us. Is anybody really safe? The quick answer is no. You know, if there was one piece of data which, which is available digitally, which a large number of very competent and very highly motivated hackers want to get to, eventually they will probably get to it. That's because it appears at least some of the stolen material came from cloud storage accounts, servers which store all of our data, from our emails to our pictures, even if they're deleted from our phones. Oftentimes, they've already been uploaded to the cloud and continue to exist. Hello. And welcome to Joy of Sex. A consequence played out in the recent movie, Sex Tape. It went up. It went up to the cloud. You can't get it down from the cloud? Nobody understands the cloud. It's a mystery. If you use services like Dropbox, Google, Apple, or Facebook, your data is in the cloud. So how can you protect your own photos and information on the Internet? Use unique and separate passwords for all your accounts. Enable two-step verification on all your apps. First your username and password, then a randomly generated private code typically sent to your smartphone via text message. 
and be sure you accept those software update notifications. They arm your smartphone with the latest security protection. Meanwhile, an outpouring of support from those in Hollywood not involved in this breach. Are you kidding me? Girl star Lena Dunham tweeting, The way in which you share your body must be a choice. Support these women and do not look at these pictures. So what exactly is next for the celebrities caught up in this computer screen drama? I think particularly Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton have done a very smart thing. Like most of the time when something that is completely unexpected happens to you and like a pretty jarring and awkward thing, the first thing you always want to do is not tell the truth and just say it wasn't me. Um, and they did a very smart thing by saying, this was me and I'm, you know, and I'm going to sue whoever I can sue. You know, they should sort of keep their heads down and keep working, but there's, they're, they're doing a good job. I'm Rebecca Jarvis for Nightline in New York. All right, thanks to Rebecca Jarvis. And for more tips about how to protect yourself online, make sure to check out abcnews.com slash nightline.